Hello, eighth graders. Happy Tuesday. We are looking at the second half of our unit. So the first lesson is going to be um, definition of congruence and some basic properties. So maybe you're wondering what congruence is. It's actually basically the same thing that we kind of talked about in the last lesson of last, the first half. So congruence has the same basic properties as rigid motions, meaning that the Lengths aren't going to change, the angles aren't going to change, it maps array to array, a line to a line, so on and so forth. Um, but congruence is a sequence of basic rigid motions. That's basically what it is in this case. Okay. So let's look at it. It says describe the sequence of rigid motions that show the two figures are congruent. So we have S, the original figure, and then we have S with an apostrophe. And then we have our segment AB. So first, it looks like S moves along. Um, okay, so S gets moved along AB, and then it looks like it gets rotated. Now, without knowing exact degrees and being able to measure it, we kind of just have to guess, but I'm gonna say that it's 90. So we have S translated along segment AB, and then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, what about the next part? So here we have S apostrophe and S double apostrophe. So it says describe the sequence of rigid motions that show this. This one is congruent to this one. Now notice our segment changed BC. So our other segment was here. Now we have one here. So again, it gets moved along the segment, but it gets rotated again. Okay. Now finally, how can we show, describe that S is congruent to S double apostrophe? So again, we have a change in our segment, but S is translated along AC and then rotated 180 degrees clockwise. Notice it's basically a flip. Oops, sorry. Basically a flip, okay? So we can show that all three of these shapes are congruent shapes. Now, do this one on your own. So it says perform the following sequence on triangle ABC. Translation along segment EF, followed by a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then label the new figure A apostrophe, B apostrophe, C apostrophe. Okay, so work through it and where you think it'll be. And then um, hit play to see what the answer is. So we have A, B, C, and it's rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. So notice if we would rotate it clockwise again, it would fit right there, okay? So that's it for your lesson today. Uh, your assignment is to complete the Edmodo questions for lesson 11. Make sure you read each question and answer option carefully so that you're selecting the best answer. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. If you want more practice, let me know. Or Anything else? Otherwise, have a great Tuesday.